What's up, people? My name is Kevin. Welcome to the OCD Gaming TV. Right, guys, I do apologize. I know it's been a while since I've been uploading, but with uh, the new terms and agreements, a lot of my videos got flagged and stuff like that. So there was a lot of issues concerning that. And I was also sick for a while and I had some personal issues in my personal life. <laughs> said being done personal issues <laughs> okay right uh today we're gonna kind of continue with the war strategy games and today um i think we're gonna try out this little title it's called on the western front um i actually did not i actually don't see a lot of videos about this game on youtube um I think I found one video about one guy playing it and it's actually a quite interesting game um, It's been in development for about 13 months now. I think I think it, it launched in in October of 2018 and it's published and developed by uh, the same company. It's I think it's a one-man indie game um, I think <laughs> I don't want to abuse the name, but I think it's something like agro block uh gaming or something like that but i'll put it in the description you guys can go and check it out um what is this game well basically it's um it's a war simulator tactic i won't say tactical simulator because it's it's pretty it's it's in the grand scale of things um <clears throat> it's a war sim game set in the first world war um if you can put it into current day um management style games you would have been like a major general lieutenant general major general and containing the forces divided onto you and be and you'll actually be just waging war um so let's just quickly go through the game th through a few of the things uh, it's got a load and a save um function uh the game is currently still in alpha and i must say the developers actually been keeping pace and updating new uh, updates to this game and adding new stuff and fun stuff um as you can see when we get into the game the game is not the prettiest of games but it's got a lot of depth to it um, there's a how to player that's telling you all the things you need to know, rotations. There, there's a lot of things going through it. I've done uh, basic training. Um, I did support units. I checked out the tunneling a bit. I tried understanding the air reconnaissance, but I suck at it. But yeah. Uh, so there's a settings also. As you can see, the settings are pretty limited. It's just got an alternative font, full screen, fog of war, music, essay, and auto save, and stuff like that. Um, for um, the game purposes, I did switch down the music a bit uh, because the, and some of the sound effects because this game can get loud, people. Uh, I do apologize for that. That's for my cell phone. Um, I am, again, as per normal, on duty. So, yeah, that seems the only time I get to record these videos. Okay, so we're going to go into a new game. Uh, currently, you can only choose between the three nations, the three, three big ones, Britain, France, Germany. I would love to see Russia come into this game and maybe also Hungary. You know, and uh, you know, like uh, Italy and other nations because there was, there was different fronts. So with that said, um, you can read the descriptions. I'm not going to go through it, but basically it starts in 1914. Um, uh, I, I did play a lot as the, uh, well, not a lot. I'm not a big Britain or United Nation or United Kingdoms fan. So I don't play the Brits a lot. Um, I did play cons a lot of the of France because um, I do like their uniforms. And um, by the way, just so you know, um, I love First World War. It's my favorite era in wargaming. Uh, and it's so sad there's not a lot more games out there focusing on this era. It's, it's a brilliant era. And of course, then there's Germany. Um, I think for the fun purposes, uh, I think we're going to go Germany because they start with a lot of artillery. And you'll see artillery plays a big role in this game. Um, Britain has what? Experts, mods, expert marksmen, basically snipers and professionalism. <coughs> and Germany has got machine guns and construction speed. Hmm. Construction speed is also quite good. Okay, but we're going to stick with the French. So let's select them and get into the game. <coughs> Creating the division. Yeah, um, as, I, as I said, you have a lot of units under you. And they all use the standard NATO map symbols representing all your buildings and units and stuff like that, which is quite fun. So, okay, so this is basically just an order from the GQG. Uh, and it's stated, the date of the next offensive has been set for 3 o'clock in the morning on February the 8th, 1915. So we've basically got a month. 
Okay, uh, okay. Let's make sure. Is it paused? I think it's paused. Yeah, I think it's paused. So basically, um, don't judge the game on the looks, first of all. Um, like, ah, oh, crap. Uh, let's just close that. Sorry, um, there's a lot of... How do I move? Oh, there we go. So as you can see, that the, the map's quite big. Um, it's massive. And these little block thingies up here in the center, that's actually buildings. And if I zoom out, that's the max extent of my zoom. So that's basically my, my front line. Now, as you can see here, there are a few things going on on the map. Let's start from the basics. Let's take the stop bar first. So um, basically, it's just your nation flag. Then it's showing you the elevation. Uh, high grounds, low grounds, all those things, water, stuff like that. Showing the underground. Let's just switch off elevation. This is under the ground. You can actually build tunnels and mines and stuff under underground. So that, that's quite nice. I, I would love to see myself putting down an underground mine and blasting the crap out of the enemy trenches. Um, it's showing ownership. It's basically just showing you the trench line, which uh, trench who, uh, who controls what trenches. Because at some point... I will give the um, command to attack and my forces will venture out of the trenches and they'll try and advance. Currently, we don't know where the enemy is. So, um, as you can see, we're going up here. All this could be enemy territory. We don't know. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to send some scouts out and scout some of the ground so we can find out where the enemy positions are. We have to do that before we attack. Um, then we got suppress areas, change positions, uh, we can get detonation of mines over the top. I'm not going to click any of these because these actually give your forces um, what to do. <clears throat> Select an area to suppress of artillery. Artillery units directly below the target will automatically move forward and bombard the targeting until it stops with ammunition. Okay. Well, then you got basically unit morale, which is very important, extremely important actually. <clears throat> the amount of supplies per your unit um what is this this one i don't know overall readiness oh okay so my forces are like 54 percent ready and we're only 50 percent supply that's bad <laughs> the amount of ammunition we have is 100 000. um support tools is another 100 000. and then when it shells for my artillery another 100 000. we don't have gas yeah we don't have gas uh available paths to the supply depot we got only one path to the supply depot and what is this available pilots 48 pilots available so basically i know our supplies comes from is it from down here is it from the end of the map i never can i think it's from this this position our supplies come i, I i'm not I, 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 I'm never sure with this game. I should really finish the uh, little um, tutorial. Okay, then we've got basic basic information about the day, the month, and stuff like that. You can see it's what now? It's autumn. It's nighttime. It's dry. Is it night? No, it's not nighttime. It is. It's like showing a moon for me there. It's clear. Uh, it's whatever. It's going on there. And that's our next off offensive. What does this person do? Fire star shells to reveal units in the area. Weather effects reveal the rate. Oh, nice. Uh, show height list of effective effects currently active. Okay. Well, this is the most interesting thing. Uh, this is your headquarters. This is basically where you uh, request supplies and all that fancy stuff. And do your research and upgrades and stuff like that. So as you can see, uh, um, we've got a lot of generals on this side not generals um is it agents they all look the same change and yeah, they all look the same so you can do basically a lot of things uh you can swap out troops that's tired with your reserves this is our, this is your reserve units brigades battalions reserve companies um you can uh research upgrades for your men i would like to get Insufficient experience point. Gain more by laying wire. Taking prisoners and spying on men to take to attack during offenses. Okay. But I would like to get uh, grenades going. Um, and uh, flamethrowers. Yeah. Uh, wireless telegraphs. 
No, it's not a new one. I know the new thing they added was the communication trenches. So you got a lot of stuff going up here. I actually do want to get some uh, more supplies for my people. Yeah, like that. Uh, we get some gas, but I think I need to research it first. Vision upgrades. Okay, then we got order of battle. Um, <clears throat> I'm not really sure how this one works. Um, I did check it once or twice before, but yeah, uh, <laughs> this is a bit complicated for me because you can change leaders and give coordinates for attacks and stuff like that. It's pretty, pretty intensive. Uh, you got your aerodromes where you put your attack planes, your reconnaissance planes, all those things. Um, I might. Um, this is a reconnaissance switch to pilot. Reconnaissance pilot. I think these are, yeah, these are my available pilots. Um, plan, bolt observation. This guy gets pretty, um, pretty, <laughs> I don't know how it gets, um, so yeah, but we're going to get into the game, so let's just get out of this now, uh, he has also a lot of buttons that you can see show, it's just a lot of layers for the map, okay, getting into the game, so you can see it's the little map symbols here, the NATO symbols, the depiction units, um, they're pretty, uh, uh, common like the MG means MG groups, um, machine gun platoons, the crosses are infantry platoons, um, little these checkered box, I think they're supplies, um, and the little dots in the middle that's your artillery. Where's artillery? These little crosses, they're your medical, um, they are they're, they're, yeah, your medical platoons, um. Uh, these guys these guys are your supply troops the one of the line um yeah here's your artillery okay so we got artillery okay so what we need first um also what you can do is uh, you can see that these groupings uh infantry platoon they give you a lot of statistics here they're from the first second alpha comp the well they're from the first rifle brigade of the second rifle battalion of alpha company first platoon Geez, that's a lot of words. It's got 40 men in them, and you can see the various statistics to them. Um, Sight range. Okay, we're not going to do any of this now. Then trends, then the HQ range. Okay, they've got engineering expertise. And they're on watch duty. Um, you know what I want to do is, I want to get a, a engineers. Where is my engineers? They got a little E on them. Oh, here's my engineers. Take that guy. Uh, not you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you can select multiple units. Uh, let me just show you. Jeez, the. Like I've selected them now. Then I can close these two windows, and I can go. Let's say over here. Pick these medics and select them. You know, it doesn't want to do that. Okay, but we're gonna go for this this engineer platoon. That I selected now. And I want to get a, a, a medical aid station. So, geez, the the there's some lag with the movement. But remember, guys, the game is still in an alpha. Um, you right click to bring up the the bolt menu you can see there's a lot of stuff you can you can set out where supply areas destroy areas repair fortify bolt draw cancel orders okay but we're going to do bolt and we want to get uh dagger's increased recovery rates and effectiveness yeah we're going to do a, a dagger You're telling me you can only do one dugout. Bolt. Dugout. 
Oh, it seems I can only do one at a time. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so they're gonna build that for me, two dugouts there. Uh, it's a little bit behind the trends, just to get my soldiers that's in um, constant battle some time to heal up. Okay, and then... Uh, how many guys? Rifle platoon. These guys, I want to... Uh, move. No man. Okay, they there. Um. Uh, I wonder these guys get some wire in front of our. Are these guys? No, I can't see it. And we go. Right, let's on stop the time and get it a bit faster. Jeez, now we're skipping five minutes at a time. Okay, so are these units now moving and doing this stuff? Why are they not doing what they're supposed to? Switching tasks. Okay, so it takes a little bit of time for them. In the order delay icon appears, the unit will take some time before even starting to switch to Durations increase the forever further the units from the HQ okay so the the units definitely gonna go do that okay so there we got a unit <coughs> I do apologize for the cough that's busy moving out he's doing some reconnaissance um, so we haven't spotted anything bad yet yeah the engineers are busy building up um, the dugout there's actually a lot of units in this little dugout. Um, you well, a field hospital. That's what we want to yeah, get a field hospital there. And you, the two of you, and you third. No, let's go second. You build us a shower, man. Some showers there for our troops. Okay, where are these guys? Okay, they didn't discover anything. Um, they're resting over here. They're still doing good. Um, you know what then? Let's take a... a let's build a, a, a trench over here. Can you build a trench? Let's go. And then we get a communication trench to there. Bobby, Jeez, these guys are taking forever building my wire fence. It's been three hours now and they did nothing basically. Okay, they, they got their first wire going. Now the game is pretty boring. Um, uh, now you can, like I just did now, select a lot of artillery and I can set like an attack in area and stuff like that. We're not gonna do it for now, of course. We got we don't have that much ammo. Um to be honest. How do we increase our ammunition storage? We got about ten thousand soldiers on the line. Total numbers in divisions. Yeah, ten thousand soldiers. Okay, that one guy is digging the, um, holy crap. Okay, let's pause. Let's pause. Okay, the enemy was somewhere here. We saw that. Why is there nothing in my event lock? Um...
Great. Crap, that was so quick. It was somewhere here. Somewhere here. Like area. Let's do explosive shells. Yeah, do that. So we do know the trenches are quite close. Um all right, let's unpause that. Fortify that trench. Actually, all of you, just all of you, fortify your trenches. And is my artillery firing now? Jake, what are they doing? Are they moving forward? They're moving. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me my artillery is out of range? You cancel orders. the hell machine gun platoon is under attack is it this one yeah it's definitely this one okay um What the hell? Cancel orders and then move here. What is this RT doing? Still moving. Oh, crap. <clears throat> they get out yeah they got out first platoon no I don't think they got out nope I think they got killed there we go finally so we lost 90 men i'm lying 80 men beautiful we are nuking that area we need to get reserves uh preserves reserves uh, these are all medics do i have any reserves Why? Oh, come on, it.
Yeah, there's definitely some clunkiness. Building, okay, it's still building dugout. Still building the hospital. Okay, okay. Did I not tell you to um, cancel? Dude, come on. I told you to cancel and I told you to move here. Cancel, move. Okay, um, get you to move there. You go move uh, there. Move there. Move. Now these are bowling, so let's see. Um, we can't get some people in there. Morale is going up, I think. Um, where's my uh, ah, we killed 180 already. Nice. Where are we taking? They're taking, how are they taking damage? I don't know what that um, button implies. 12, 12. The command HQ is still good. These MGs still good. I just uh, I, I don't like the point that I've just got like. Um, one um entry point that's not good um i want to get like over here another communi uh, communi communication trends i'm gonna do it ah oh, come on Uh, not too, yeah, that can stay. Are you crapping on me now? Come on. Why is it doing this now? Are you seriously doing this now? Why is it doing this? Okay. 
Yeah, that's the weirdest building. Uh... Okay, the game is still an alpha, guys. The game is still an alpha. Oh, I think that's why. I think it's taking it from that point. Yeah, okay. That's probably the shittiest Fuck. I do apologize for that. That's probably the crappiest friends ever built. Okay, but we will see. Listen, is this guy is still... We get, we're taking... We're killing a lot... What? Why are we taking so much casualties? This MG crew is doing a lot. Recovering, okay. You guys, 45. Oh, are you... The event log is not very nice. Okay, let's get the speed up again. I see that's just the first day of January. We lost, we are losing so many men. Oh my soul. <laughs> Almost lost like 200 guys. Okay, so we do know the enemy trenches is right here in front of us, right here. Oh, this goes, whoa, this goes to uh, some incredible speed. So every time you move it pauses the game. Ah, okay. Okay, I think we can uh, stop the artillery. Uh, who was firing? Um rest. Let's check order of battle. It's not here. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm going to delegate tasks. Um, logistics. Intelligence. That that's quite nice. I didn't see that before. That's nice. And administration. The only thing I'm gonna leave for myself for now is operations. Um Okay, artillery, can 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 you stop? Which RT is firing? Bombarding area. Can can you um but I get you to stop. There we go. How many guns? 18 guns. Um, you know what? No, I think. What the hell?
Und so. Get them all going back on. Uh, well, we did good for the first day. We got like 300 kills. Um, no, that's a bit of bad. These guys are still building. How many engineers? 40 engineers. It's taking them so long. Okay, let's pause the game. Okay, our intelligence commander has done good work. Thank you, Herr Commandant. This is. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, enemy is right in front of us. Uh, okay, here's the communication trench. Um, got, they got some dugouts. Um, they've been busy. Um, okay, there's the artillery. The artillery is right over there. Um, Oh man. You see it. I want you guys to bomb that crap out of this. Close. Soften up some enemy. Uh, get you out. And then we attack area explosives. They, they got some works going on there. And out. You're that guy. Okay, I think let's unpause. Let's get it going. Kills him. Yeah, that's gonna put a drain on our. Um... Oh crap! They got two trench lines. Holy crap! They got a few trench lines. Holy crap! Okay, four train, five trench lines. That's not gonna be easy. We can use these to attack this area. Um, I mean, I'm gonna do it now while we're busy on the uh, giving them fire.
But yeah, um, <clears throat> I think we're gonna call pause it here for now. Um, as we saw, this this really the game's still got a lot of detail, especially with the movement. It's it's extremely. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or. Yeah, this is a lot smoother. Okay, that's a lot smoother. How oh, did I not get that in the first place? Oh, so okay. But yeah, there's a there's still a lot of things to, that must be implemented in this game. Um, I would like to have it a bit more uh, easier uh, selections and stuff like that. You know, the pop ups and all that nice stuff. Um, okay, there's their commander HQ. Jeez, uh, it's way in the back here. Oh. But yeah, um, a little bit, uh, the events looks, I would like to um, be better. What, what's going on here? What is this? These pilots, I think these are pilots. Uh, go to notification, go to notification. Yeah, some of the things are not working, but like I said, it's still under um, development. Um, I, I'm going to try the, the mine thing. Uh, I love to build me a mine. Um, I do not know why these engineers are taking so long in building a bloody trench. Um, but yeah, it seems it's <laughs> it's pretty pretty difficult building stuff and getting stuff in there. But yeah, it takes time. War, war was not fought in one day. So yeah. Um, send all combat units over the top at once. They will assault the first available trench. I think for for fun, just to end off the the game, let, let's let's unpause it and then just go. Are they going? They're not going. Oh, charge positions. Are they executing? Ah. <laughs> They're not listening to me. I think this command only becomes available in to charge with empty all all rifle units directly below the target position. Oh okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's do it this. Charge. Okay, that's not working. Okay, never mind. It was worth a try. Uh, what does this do? Fire star shell. Okay, we don't need star shells. But yeah, you, you guys get the, the picture of this game. It, it, it looks to be great fun when it's up and running. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more content in this game, um, shoot me up or give me a, a shout out in the comments. I'll see what I can do. Um, the game is, like I said, still in alpha development. The developer is pretty active with the development of this game. He adds in a lot of stuff, a lot of buildings, a lot of new features. So I, I foresee this being a, a good game in the future. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like, uh, like button if you hit like this. If you didn't like it, I don't mind you hitting the... I don't like but just shoot me up in the comments tell me what you don't like and then guys and girls enjoy the weekend enjoy your week check in the next time see you later